हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू दी चैनल माय नेम इज महेश कारिया यो वाचिंग मी ऑन यूट्यूब ना एंड इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोना टेक यू थ्रू द स्पीड टेस्ट ऑफ गो टाइप स्क्रिप्ट यूजिंग डीनो एंड नोट जेस ऑफ कोर्स सो इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल विल अंडरस्टैंड व्हाई गोलैंग इज वेरी पॉपुलर फॉर इट्स कॉन्करेंसी एंड वाई डी नो इज गेटिंग पॉपुलर over node js and why most of the developers are migrating their projects from node js to dino so all these kind of things we'll understand in this today's session so if you don't uh, familiar about these three things go like we use for the concurrency related things not only for that you can use like alternative of your node js you can like this is super fast okay and node js is a very old fashion but lots of folks are using it uh, but in a while in a few years uh, node js will be uh, not there i guess because there are many good alternatives are coming up like bun js and dino and kind of stuff and dino of course because we it officially supports typescript and uh, of if you go on bun.js that i'm not going to test on this tutorial because it's still in beta so it's not fair to test beta version with the alpha version but uh, they mention here that dino if you if you do server side rendering with react using dino so it is a slightly equal uh, to node js but the truth is very different okay because i'm not sure about this data but now we are going to test the actual facts uh, so uh, i have this uh, few uh, one of js file one of ts file okay where we need to print 1 million of records and uh, one of go file okay so it is also we are doing for loop this is simple for loop to test uh, the speed actually okay so i'm going to start with main dot go and i'm going to hit enter so you will see it's going to print within 1.7 second okay so this data we uh, like uh, this data we printed on the terminal okay and just okay let me be very specific to 1 million okay let me try again so it's taking around 1.70 okay now i'm going to check a node js okay so for that it's gonna take around 4.5 4.7 seconds so you can see this is kind of three times faster almost okay and this is this is why and of course you can definitely create your microservices on golang as well uh lots of folks they they want to learn golang and i recommend you guys to use golang of course there are few serialization kind of stuff you need to work upon uh, but it's fine serialization like uh, most of the stuff we deal with json and you need to migrate data from uh, golang to json this is kind of trick you but uh, the performance is really very good i haven't tried the concurrency imagine if i try the concurrent subroutines or 10 subroutines for each uh, one uh, lakh record so it would be way faster in microseconds not sure so now i'm going to go to clear the screen and i'm going to use dino okay so dino run main.ts so it's it's a js code uh, sorry it's a ts code okay so we are running typescript and this is a uh, 2.8 which is a like twice faster than uh, node.js of course so this is why that's why we use dino okay so it's in front of you guys like it's it's using typescript okay so even though this is really very really fast and if i run this thing using js okay the performance will remain the same for js and ts just 0.1 second which is fine okay so yeah here is the speed test and you can choose according to your requirements if you have a blockchain based big huge data or big data if you are working on definitely i'll recommend to go with uh, go with uh, their subroutine and use concurrency which is really very cool 
uh, lots of folks are not aware about it that's why they are not using it but if you are using kafka or bunch of events handling go is something that you can choose uh, along with the erlang kind of languages if you if you want to learn erlang so yeah this is it for this today's tutorial thank you so much all of you guys for being with me supporting me all the time it's been a pleasure to be here please let me know inside comment box what you want from my side definitely i'll make it for you and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't already and smash that like button if you enjoyed thank you so much see you soon in the next video